everyone copies they'll probably know get this fucking audio out my Ooh, this is fire your boy crypto blood welcome to another episode of my two satoshis it is september 24th 2018 yes Detroit stand up. Let me give a shout out to my man Jason Clink Scales. He wanted me to play one of those Eminem tracks off the new Kamikaze album. Detroit definitely standing up and proud of this one. Uh, I'm playing the Ringer off of that Kamikaze album. Hope you guys enjoy that. What's good? Again, another day, start of the week. I'm going to be um, later today uh, sitting down with Crypto Mentor 99. He's traveling all across the, the country to meet with different cryptocurrency cats and uh it's a pleasure that uh, i'll be meeting with him so um what we're going to be talking about today is switching it up a little bit there was a comment by a subscriber of mine that i thought was very profound and he hit it he hit it right on the head and we're going to look at his comment as one of the subjects for today it was pertaining to a video i did about ripple passing ethereum in market cap a couple of days ago um, and he made some really, really profound statements. So we're going to take a look at that. And also the antithesis of Ripple. We got an article about Stellar. I want to talk to you about that. I do like Stellar. Um, and we'll get into the nitty gritty about why. But this article just talks about its performance over the last week as well. It's been on par or, or closely tracking the price appreciation of Ripple. So you guys know that uh, Stellar is a fork from the Ripple code. Ripple went ahead and kept doing what they were doing with the decentralized fashion and nature of their organization. And Stellar decided to take a different route. So this article kind of goes about explaining the performance of Stellar. And I want to just give you guys a heads up. If you're not into Stellar, definitely check it out. Uh, one of those third generation blockchains like EOS, like Tron, these are going to be the ones that you're going to see really shine in 2019 in my opinion but first let's take a look at that market cap we're currently around 225 billion dollars bitcoin's dominance is around 51 percent still and uh you know not too much to say about where we are we're in the holding pattern right now and hopefully we can uh make a move here i told you the longer we stay in this pattern though uh the less the less I'm excited about the potential of a move up above 6,800. So I'll just keep an eye on that for you guys. Um, but I think first, I do want to go over the subscribers comment. It's my man, Cryptocurrency Mass Adoption. And he said, this is, check this out, people. This is one of the first times um, I've highlighted and made a subscribers comment the center of my video so check this out he says man the market is up because of xrp period if it weren't for that we'd be in the red right now there's speculation that x rapid is already activated by some users which accounts for the high volume i understand the distrust for banks and ripple but i feel that anyone who has a credit card bank account ira rrsp or 401k has no right to hate ripple <laughs> all of those products feed right into the banking cabal this is very true and you know a lot of people i see in comments f the banks you know this this and that but you're you know you and and many of us are still highly dependent on what infrastructure they've built so you can't say you, you you don't like the banks and F the banks and all of that and you're still relying on it. You don't have uh, a business that you run solely in cryptocurrencies. You don't work for a company that's solely representing cryptocurrency um, industries. So, you know, it is kind of hypocritical there uh, to a certain degree. So he goes on to say here, as far as the ETFs go, backed, and I, I covered that. Uh, yesterday but backed will be given the opportunity to create the first crypto ETF it's all a part of the plan you give the owners of one of the largest stock exchanges in the world first dibs on crypto products that will eventually lead to the creation of a sister market that trades crypto which will eventually be integrated into the NYSE at that point all other exchanges will have to act as a broker between the customer and that government exchange to facilitate trades. The custody solution will hold the crypto for people, essentially treating it like a stock. 
while that will increase price it will decrease economic activity using bitcoin what was meant to be the peer-to-peer -peer currency will turn into a certificate of ownership that people will keep in their safes the ultimate goal is to make sure that this never becomes money and to render any second layer solutions useless before they're even created shout out to my man cryptocurrency mass adoption man you hit it right on the head you hit it right on the head i want to hear what you guys have to say about this we don't help people and I, I honestly to be quite honest i think it may be too too late um they're circling in they're circling in so you're gonna see as he stated you know your your 401ks iras all of that is going to be funneled into these types of uh, ripple or you know backed all of this that that's where you're going to see majority of americans holding bitcoin or owning a portion of a bitcoin is through those avenues not physically owning them themselves because they're going to make it so easy for you to do it in that manner and they're going to make you think and which bitcoin core is doing by design i believe they're structuring bitcoin in a way where it won't be used as money uh, or as currency i should say and you won't use it on as day to day having your own bank in your pocket owning your own destiny and not allowing governments to seize your monies all of that the power lies in bitcoin having that power i should say with you having your private key so Shout out to my man, Crypto Mass Adoption. Uh, you definitely hit it on the head. You guys let me know what your thoughts are on my man's comments from a couple of days ago. The second article is about Stellar, which again is like the antithesis to Ripple. And really the reason why, I'm just gonna kind of give you a quick breakdown, not get too technical, but you know, with, with Stellar, I should say with Ripple, you know, they have, they have the same number of coins roughly I think stellar may have a little bit more maybe like three billion more however ripple is their target market are the financial institutions because they want to again corner the market with bitcoin and these cryptocurrencies and buddy up with the financial institutions stellar on the other hand their focus are the companies and individuals which i think that's where we need to focus on cryptocurrencies being adopted of course, we know Ripple's governance is definitely centralized with them holding 60% of the uh, token supply. On the other hand, Stellar is decentralized. The team over at Ripple, it's just a whole bunch of bankers, XVC, you know, guys, so on and so forth. While on the other hand, you know, with Stellar, they're entrepreneurs over there. You know what I mean? You got guys from WordPress and you got, you know, a guy from Y Combinator. So you can kind of see just in those couple of, of uh, comparisons where, where Stellar and Ripple differ. So anyway, let's take a look at this article really quickly talking about the performance of Stellar over the last seven days. It says here, the last few days have seen serious price action with the overwhelming majority of cryptocurrencies notably increasing. The serious uptick was marked by Ripple though, a rally on Friday as the cryptocurrency managed to gain almost 100% of its value in a short few hours, briefly unsetting Ethereum as the second largest cryptocurrency and that's what i covered on that day uh or the, a few days a, a few days before the move i actually was the first time I ever covered uh ripple because of, you know i thought that the partnerships they were striking especially with pnc and that's the one i covered in that video um was major news whether it was you know good in my opinion or align with my ethos for cryptocurrencies or not i thought i needed to cover it and sure sure enough two days later it went it went up another 60 percent and so the article goes on to say here stellar also managed to amass some serious gains through the last few days and it continues to trade in the green the cryptocurrency is now sitting at number six and it has gained a total of about 50 percent in the last seven days and for the last 24 hours alone it's up with about 20 percent at the time of this writing and it says good news for stellar earlier this month a stellar focused commercial entity called lightyear corporation merged with another company called chain inc 
to form a brand new organization called Interstellar. Purportedly, the merger is going to increase the enterprise products as well as the customer base to the global public ledger of Stellar. It's aimed at delivering a turnkey solution, enabling different organizations to exchange, issue, and manage assets on Stellar's public network. And uh, they spoke to the co-founder, and he said here, Chain's team has led the market for enterprise adoption of blockchain technology, which is a critical component of building a future where money and digital assets move over open protocols. We are thrilled to be joining forces to help organizations build on Stellar. And um, yeah, that's probably why they moved up. They had some fundamental news this past week as well. What do you guys think? Do you like Stellar? Um, I do. I do. And I think that, you know, my favorite, of course, you guys probably know is EOS. But there will be multiple third generation blockchains that will uh, have a stake in this race. And 2019 is going to be that year for third gen uh, blockchains. I'm telling you. You guys let me know your thoughts about this though. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Make sure you also share. And um, let's, let's keep this movement going people. I want you to jump over to Crypto Blood. I forget to do this all the time. If you guys want to meet me out at the World Crypto Con out in Vegas, October 31st, make sure you jump over to CryptoBlood.io and you can register there. If you buy a t-shirt or a hoodie, you get 20% off. So buy a t-shirt first or a hoodie and I'll send you that promo code for 20% off of that ticket. That's pretty much it for today, ladies and gents. It's your boy Crypto Blood and I'm out. Holla, D-Town stand up. Yeah. Even have an opinion.